Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. So as usual, well, we start with the EURUSD. We are looking on the daily. We can actually look at the quick look at the weekly time frame. You see that last week and up as a doji candle. So we had a push to the upside to then quickly reverse back down, especially on that ECB press conference, but it wasn't uh, a long move. Um, I still think the Euro is heading toward this area. I don't see a reason for the bears to stop here without reaching this level down below. So. Uh, all in all, uh, I'm still having the same view on the euro for more downside. And we saw that um, on uh, Thursday and Friday that the, there was a continuation move to the downside after a deep test here of these uh, levels. As you see, we've got this area got tested uh, here on the move to the upside and then a reversal. Going down to the four hour time frame, we see that we had a sequence of lower lows and lower uh, highs. And um, yeah, I'm as I said, I'm expecting this uh, same uh, scenario to continue to tag this um, uh, major uh, key level looking left that we mentioned on the weekly time frame. Um, so for next week, looking for the same scenario. Now we had impulse correction, another impulse. Maybe we wait for a correction and then uh, continuation to the downside target this area so uh, nothing new here still the main direction is bearish and sell rallies sterling uh, almost uh, the same scenario here you see on the weekly time frame we had a break and close below this previous structure and uh, if we go to the daily we see that we had a retest failed to break higher and then a continuation so we did a quick retest of this uh, previously broken structure and um, yeah targets uh, of course uh, the least i'm expecting is uh, this area down here next would be these uh, swings and this uh, major swing down below okay so we still uh, looking to uh, sell rallies here in my opinion so we had an impulse correction right now ongoing impulse and uh, the least target is the 1.30 down here um, to then maybe see another correction coming from this area for further downside okay so sell rallies is the main idea here usd chappy a strong break to the upside checking the weekly time frame we now see that uh, it's finally left this range with a strong break to the upside there is nothing looking left until we reach this uh, 118.50 area this stop here is the next target uh, in my opinion uh, friday's candle was a huge candle with a quick move to the upside it would need a little bit of a correction though so uh, would be best to wait for a, a bit of a retest of this previously broken structure to then look for continuation or if you don't get a correction all the way down here which I'm, i am expecting such a correction though uh, you could at least wait for some kind of a bullish flag something like this to then look for a break and um, look for continuation aussie slowing down again so uh, checking the daily time frame we have now a lower high after this uh, sequence of higher highs and higher lows uh, this is our first lower high we've got um, a big bearish engulfing candle on friday so the it seems like the bearish momentum is um, the bullish momentum is shifting now um, we have a break of this uh, uh, correction channel. We've been talking about this in my trading room that we had an impulse and then we had we start seeing this correction. So I said uh, to our trading room to wait for some kind of a break of the trend line to be safe on the trade if you want to short it. Then we've got the break, we've got the retest and the continuation start to happen. So I'm looking for further downside here. Maybe another uh, correction to then look for the downside uh, on this one <clears throat> usd cat um, if we check the weekly here uh, we end up with a inverted hammer it went back inside and uh, below these levels and inside the range and uh, daily time frame as you see here after the retest of the top of this area we start seeing corrections happening now this is not um easy to to 
to say that uh, a direction but all in all i still see higher lows here this is still higher low no break below the structure and as far as that is the case it still have a big chance to move higher especially if the dollar um uh, start getting stronger once again uh, so uh, down here uh, is a, a a minor structure if not broken next week there is a chance that we might see um continuation but to be more safe you want to see a break out of this uh, uh, lower range to then look for retest and continuation otherwise if they fail here i think we might retest the bottom of this uh, smaller range here this area down below so if you see something like this a failure to break expecting something like this to happen otherwise a breakout would mean retest and then continuation back to the top once again usd chief also broke out of the inner range so as you know guys we've been talking about this for a while we had this range and we have the bigger range outside of that so right now seems like there is nothing else to do more than wait for this market to reach target i think the bulls will keep pushing until they tag this high here or maybe a breakout but what happened last week is a good sign for the bulls whoops let's go back um, here we go it's a good sign for the bulls because they did break above these levels now next attempt uh, would be to wait for some kind of a correction maybe a retest of this previously broken structure and then look for a continuation to the top now when and if they reach the top uh, you need to consider this as a resistance as first that we might see a little bit of a correction or something like that in the if the, in the case of a break to the upside on the daily then we look for retest and continuation from the top okay so those are the scenarios i have for this one gold uh, checking the weekly we've got a, a big um, rejection here looking uh, left it did tag this previous high but keep in mind we had something similar here and even though uh, that was the case the market gave us another bullish week after that so do not go crazy on this to be a sell yet in my opinion uh, as far as it is holding above this level there is a big chance that the bulls might keep pushing from this area trying to go back to the to the upside so this down here in my opinion is key for next week keep an eye on this level as far as it is holding it is a buy if they um if the bears manage to break it then we look for retest and continuation toward the 1910 down here as target and oil um big move to the downside now after a, a an attempt to um, break and close above this there was a daily close but no weekly close above this previous high and uh, yeah it is a pretty extended move some kind of a correction is needed a huge candle here on wednesday as you see it did uh, raise uh, three days of uh, bullish move um, here with this candle thursday uh, was an attempt to then see that it failed up here and moved back down we see it clearly on the lower time frame so we had this impulse a lower high and then a push lower so for next week the same level here 114.50 will be key if retested and fail to break higher we might see further downside i still think this market need to go back toward this area and uh, play these uh, price levels there is a big void here in price that need to be played as it happened here quick move back and then they did play the prices once again and if you want to see it like this a huge and ugly uh, head and shoulder with a double head here <laughs> um but this is how i see it the neckline here is key uh, any break below that neckline in my opinion is a signal that we're going toward 92 uh, and that might happen pretty quickly as for now it is holding the line so as far as that is the case they might still push higher keep in mind this is a strong bullish market but this candle here the red one showing that uh, this is not only just some kind of a profit taking this is uh, with volume okay so uh, yeah that was it for this week guys thanks a lot do not forget to hit the like button add a comment share the video help supporting the channel thank you very much see you next week bye bye